Oh. Welcome, welcome to you both. Oh. Do you know, you look at those pictures and you just feel so warm. But I guess that's kind of been a bit of a second home then for you, hasn't it, right? Well, Shaiko did. I, I've come in. Um, my first episode is is tomorrow night, so I came. But in you've obviously been there series. to film it, though. Oh yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, yeah, it does very much a second home for me. I can't wait. Can't wait to get back out there. Oh, it's cold here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But um, no, Shaiko was there the whole time. Shaiko was part of the furniture by the time I arrived. Yeah, yeah. this is my second year doing it, it, and yeah. we were out there for about. Five and a half months yeah, when, when it's yeah. when it's all said and done. So it it it, it, it is a second home. Yeah. It's 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 all. Must be really hard. It must so be terrible. Hard. Terrible. Yeah. Such hard work. I mean, as you can see, it's 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 pretty grim landscape, and oh, it's uh, yeah. nothing to do with the weekend. Oh, no. Yeah. No, no. So, I mean, in reflection though, look, because we're talking about the so sport release challenge tonight. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how how are you with the cold? Are you bad with cold, or are you all right with it? Um, I'm. I, I'm I'm kind of bad with oh, it, yeah. so yeah. I, I yeah I'm, I'm I used to be okay. I, I'm you know I'm from Manchester. I was like I grew up in the rain basically, and then um, <laughs> then you moved and, down and south. Then, yeah, and I was terribly well. It's got a bit better when I got down south. And then I'm, I was terrible in the heat, and then I went to do Death in Paradise, and now I'm like. It is cold here. Get me yeah. back out there. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I've adjusted and it's not helping me in my real life. Yeah. But we've got them on tonight talking about the Sport Relief mm -hmm. Challenge. Mm -hmm. You, of course, have done uh, a fair few challenges for Sport Relief. You did the football, didn't you? Nothing too extreme. Yeah, well, there was the 24-hour five-a-side game. Um, in, I think it was 2016 that, uh, you know, Shira took part in and Garolinica took part. I, unfortunately, didn't get to play against... I quite would have liked to have played against, um, against Shira. I did see somebody nutmegged him, put the ball through his legs... Not when I was playing, <laughs> and about two minutes later, in he smashed them so hard the geezer still hasn't landed. It was it was really funny. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the pros don't like it when you mess around. No, I bet. That was a good idea, that though, wasn't it? Yeah, hour yes, it was and raised a ton of money, so it was a great thing. I think yeah. the challenge is a, an amazing thing to do. Did you do? Yeah. Did you, yeah, yeah, and some cycling bits and pieces that will be. He's talking a great footballer, by then. the way. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah they're we know. Semi-profesh. On set, on set they always that. they're always playing. They do five-a-side games and stuff when we're out in the Caribbean. Oh, on the beach. Oh yeah, with all the cars. You've got to, haven't you? Oh, He's Ralph. out there. I feel like I owe you some money for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Speaking of feet and legs and what have you, did you? We understand you had a bit of an accident towards the end of filming. I did. I did. Um... Football. <laughs> What? Yeah, what? yeah tried football playing some injury, football. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alan Shearer's faster. <laughs> not legged. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all, all in the line of duty. I mean, we're quite hardcore out there, oh, aren't yeah, we? We're, we're, we're in out. the heat. We're, no, I was, um, it was in the middle of one of the last um, episodes yeah. and um, I was sort of doing a continuous jump. Um, Did you do all your own stunts? Yeah. yeah. It, was, it, was, it was hard. <laughs> yeah, like riding that motorbike is I feel, like, I feel like I should say, nobody, nobody told you to, by the way. That was entirely your choice. I remember it happening. I mean, it was like she, she was supposed to be, all, we were all excited because we were going onto the beach from the shack that you see, saw in the clip there. Yeah. And we all sort of run onto the beach yeah. and Shaiko decided she was going to sort of go way into a star <laughs> jump and land on the sand. And the first four times it went great. And the fifth time it was a disaster. And, and what happened? Did you, and, was it yeah. hospital doctor? And my my, oh, I basically um, tore my calf muscle. Ow. But you know, it's very Ruby esque, and I'm I'm an a, a, like actor wise. You know, you got to get into the character. That's what people <laughs> love. And Ruby. Would do a job. I'm method not, acting? Yeah. I'm like method Al Pacino. Actor. I mean, Don't get out with Pacino, do you? Pacino's never torn his car for that. Shaikon was saying it must be nice to have a proper actors on after last night. <laughs> <laughs> that was which, not which, I thought, was which I thought was that disrespectful, was if anything. Well, Al's a big fan now. He's going to be watching yeah. tonight. So, uh, yeah. We are going to be talking now. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's exciting. Um, well, you, you've I'm been an fan, avid yes. fan, this one has, for years and years. Hey. So oh, what brings, then, <laughs> D.I. Neville Parker, your character, um, to the island? Well, as you saw there, he's, he's already he arrived to investigate um, what turns out to be a murder. But actually, he's, he's originally brought over to, to just sign off a pretty open and shut suicide case. Right. Because um, it looks it has all the hallmarks of a suicide and the local police because they're useless, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, no, <laughs> the, 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 the local police... We just um, have a different way of doing things. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it, it's very, very elegantly set up to look like a suicide, but, and, and he's literally about to... Uh, he's brought over because the victim is from Manchester, and he's Manchester CID, so uh, yeah. it's felt that he has a, a duty of care to come over and do this. So he's literally about to sign the form, and then he's like, there's one little detail, because, you know, he's this brilliant detective, there's just one thing that's not quite right, and from there he's like, no, I don't think this is right. And then from that moment on, he, he's ready to head back to the airport and, and go home. And he gets, he gets pulled up and it's like, mate, if you're yeah. the one who says this is a murder, it's up to you to solve it. And 
that's how he ends up there. Wow. At well, least in the start. The, the fans <laughs> of, uh, of the series will know that you've been in Death in Paradise before. <laughs> yes. haven't we you? were hoping we were going to get away with that, but <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone else. Know. We haven't got a clip, do we? It's a bit like Doctor Who. If you've had a connection with it, then you can kind of, you know. But, yeah. but that, well, I was telling people as well, because Ardell O'Hanlon <laughs> left uh, at the end of the last episode and I start in this one. Yeah. But I was sworn to secrecy from, from telling any of the press, like how whether there was any crossover or whatever. Right. And I was pressed so many times at the end, I just started lying and saying that Ardell regenerated into me like Doctor Who. <laughs> I, I think a couple of them believed it. I was like, it's a whole different no, show. No, no, no. <laughs> now, we heard, Ralph, that you went quite hard at the gym. Um, oh, because yeah. you were hoping <laughs> that you'd do like what, an Big emerging C. from the water, <laughs> oh, James Bond kind of scenario. When Daniel Craig came out of the water in that first James Bond film and everybody went, oh, no way, right? <laughs> so I was thinking, there might be, I've not seen the script yet, but there might be a thing, you know, Neville, he's, he's not like, he's not the hunkiest, like, sexy James Bond character, but if I don't tell anyone and I go hard at the uh, gym, so yeah. if there's ever a moment where they go, okay, so can we just have you coming out the sea? And I'm like, I won't say anything. On the yeah. day that we do to film, I'm going to be like, I am jacked. And I'm, <laughs> that, was, that was my plan, just like take off the top and go, I'm ready. And everyone go in, we can't have this. But then it was too late and they had yeah. no choice. But um, it never happened. So I just oh, was no. miserable in the gym. And now, because I'm skinny naturally, I've lost it all. Oh. And I have oh. more, more meat on a butcher's pencil. And he was also eat, like the eating as well, like very strict, you know. Was well, it yeah. protein? Chicken and rice. It all was, protein, yeah, chicken and broccoli, all mate. protein. Absolute like, yeah. waste he of was time. on it. He yeah. really was. Devastating. <laughs> and now I'm like a <laughs> Room again. <laughs> so upsetting. So, Shaka, this is your second series, yes, as you've it said. Is. So, yeah. um, as part of the old guard now, then, mm -hmm. was it quite nice welcoming somebody new into the fold? Because, it really yeah. is. It's been amazing to have Ralph. He is brilliant and oh. you guys are just in for a treat he really brings a new dynamic and um, you do Dude. I'm not oh. just saying it because we're on the TV oh. yeah, you're saying <laughs> no, it because I paid you yeah, yeah. <laughs> no seriously he really does he just brings such a different dynamic and an energy to the show mm. um, and it's been really exciting and we have such such a crack so um, I'm really happy that he's here Thanks. you know there is a bit of pressure because mm. Death in Paradise has been a massive um, mm. rating set doesn't mm. it since it started mm -hmm. and the other three you know have been brilliant <laughs> but it was your mother wasn't it who said oh yeah, I mean, don't, make it, don't mess this up. Isn't that's, that's so sweet. That's just sort of my life anyway. Like my, my mom, I think she's decided that her job is to keep my feet firmly on the ground, um, even when they are on the ground. She's just, you know, making sure. So yeah. yeah. So I, so I did tell her I was on the phone because it wasn't with her. I told her, I said I'm the, the lead detective in Death in Paradise, and there was just a silence. And I was like, Hello, are you okay? She goes. Oh, just excuse me a minute while I pick myself up off the floor. So <laughs> she was dead delighted for about 35 seconds. Then she was like, oh, it's popular, isn't it? Don't ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't <laughs> Thanks for those words of encouragement. No, no. And how about your mum then? I mean, you were talking about her earlier. Does she, does she love this series? She must she, be ever so proud that you're doing it. Oh, yeah, I think she is, and she does love it. She actually uh, was watching the show before I um, joined. It's something that she watches at all of my aunties. Shout yeah. out to all my aunties who watch the show. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's, one, it's one of our favourites at home. So, um, yeah. And we do, and we watch it together. It's like a way that me and mum sit on the couch and watch it. And she kind of does a few of the same things. Why yeah. are you looking like that? Why are you doing that? I, know. Yeah. I don't watch don't anything do with my mother anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, probably lots of families across oh, the UK yeah, watch it together. Just on the sofas yeah. like this, staring and, and at the telly. We I'll tell you something that's interesting. It's really big, I found out, with teenagers. Apparently, mm. it's, that's a real big demographic for them because it's such a family show. And yeah, I was trying to think of... I don't know if there are that many shows anymore that are like really sit down mm. like appointment viewing for families. I'm yeah. delighted. I'm going to be down with the kids again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to love this. Next.